Yo, Kingdom of Boxing here. I want to talk about Billy Joe Saunders versus Canelo Alvarez, the Juice Monkey. But before I do that, I want to touch up on why I've not been here for a little bit, why I've not been talking, even though I know you don't give a shit. Well, basically, man's got four stitches in my mouth, so I can't speak properly. I don't know if you can notice right now, but last four days, I've, since Tuesday anyway, I've not been able to speak properly at all. And why? Because I got into a fight, you know, over some bullshit. And I might touch up on why I got into a fight. Should I, I hang it? Uh, let's address it. Let's address it. Basically, got into a fight on Tuesday. I was chilling with two guys I've known from back in the day from boxing. From the boxing gym, I knew them from boxing gym, I also knew them from on the roads and I also knew them from school and we are chilling in the park anyway and me and one of them, we started having a play about wrestling match and we are having a play about wrestling match, I had it cut on my head from Saturday night that reopened and started bleeding when we was wrestling so when that happened I went to Water Meadows, anyone from Mansfield or Nottingham, you know where Water Meadows is. We went into Water Meadows and asked this woman to start cleaning the um, wound up for me. And she started cleaning up my wound. As she was cleaning up my wound, his bridges started saying to me, Oh, my mum would do you, my mum would fuck you up. Even though he's a 140 pounder, he'd fuck you up. I was like, what if fuck man, I've knocked you through the ropes before you idiot, yeah? So mum was like, what? I fuck you up now fam, that was back in the day, ray, ray, ray. I was like, what are you fucking mad, you fucking little twat? So, he goes, yeah, what, come then? I goes, what, come then? You want it? Let's have it, let's go outside now. So he goes, come then. So I've jumped up, pushed that woman off me, and started stomping outside. As I started stomping out, they started following me. As they're following me, I come out the first set of doors in Water Meadows, and as before you get to the second doors, I've turned around. I thought, fuck it, we'll have it right here. As I've turned around, He's tried to swing for me with a, either a jab right hand or a left up right hand. And as he swung for me, I uh, ducked. When he ducked, he came from the side of me to in front of me. He landed in front of me with his back turned towards me. And as he had his back turned towards me, he started lifting his head up. And I seen a perfect shot for the left up. As I went to throw my left up, bam, I felt something hit me straight in my mouth. And it rocked me. I think it might have been a left up, I'm not really sure. There's no footage in it of it. It just happened so quick, you know. Um, hit me with a left hook, I think, and it rocked me. So I started, I, I went down, like, I grabbed his legs. As I, gra I grabbed his legs, I tried to pick him up. As I grabbed his legs, I tried to pick him up. He went flying back towards the wall. He went to the wall and started holding on something. So I was struggling to pick him up, basically. But eventually I got him. I, like, pulled him away from the wall, his legs away from the wall, and made him slide down the wall on his back. And I, tried, I was trying to get on top of him. And as I was trying to get on top of him, loads of people come in, separated us, broke us up. And that was that. I went out looking for him for a few days, you know, last few days, even though I'm not well, man. But I'll catch him, little pussy clock. And he got me, I'm not gonna lie, man, I've, I've got a big scar in, on the inside of my gums, going across with four stitches. My right side of my face is swollen like a balloon and I can't eat and fuck all properly man I can't chew anything properly it's killing me you know but that's enough of that I watched Money Brad's TV Money Brad TV's video on Saunders vs Canelo and this is what made me want to make this video because there's a lot of points he didn't address like for example he was making it comparisons between Lara and Canelo and Billy Joe Saunders fighting similar but what he didn't mention or what he failed to mention is the fact that Billy Joe Saunders is way bigger than Lara Billy Joe Saunders is nothing like Lara, Lara is tiny and Billy Joe Saunders is way bigger than Canelo you know Canelo can't just come in trying to bully him like that because when Billy Joe Saunders hits him he will realise he has to respect Billy Joe Saunders 
But it just sounds way too big for him to just run in thinking he can bully man about. Yeah? That's first thing. Second thing you didn't mention is probably their best and worst assets. What is Canelo's worst asset? Is his slow footwork. And what is Billy Joe Saunders' best asset? Is his fast footwork. Billy Joe Saunders is tailor. Canelo is tailor made for Billy Joe Saunders. Don't you see that? It's crazy how you say, oh, Canelo's going to knock out Billy Joe Saunders. Maybe he could knock Billy Joe Saunders out with one punch like Amir Khan or something like that. But he's not going to outbox. If he couldn't even outbox Amir Khan. Even Lara beat him. Lara's small and Lara beat Canelo. I don't care what anybody says. Lara won that fight. Canelo literally landed one headshot the whole fight. All he had was some success to the body, yes. And that's what he would probably do in the Billy Joe Saunders fight. Canelo could have some success to the body, but he would hardly have any success to the head. Billy Joe Saunders too quick for him, and his feet are too quick, and his defense is too tight. He's got a good defense, you know. He's got good reflexes. So he didn't mention these points. You want to put, you, you're trying to make out Canelo some big bad beast. Canelo had stacked hand wraps, juiced up to his eyeballs and all the steroids you can get, all the best shit, using all the best steroids, using all the best cheaters, paid off the judges, did all that, and he managed to come out, scrape out a draw against Triple G. That's pathetic. You keep riding with these little fake heads. No hate, man. Big up Money Brown TV. Good channel, go check them out, go subscribe to my man. My man's doing his thing. But nobody's right all the time, you know? Including me. See, I was undefeated the other day. Now I lost. 